we live on some acreage. His parents own a farm. So we moved back to be able to help them on the, on the farm. They have cattle. Um, and we always knew ultimately that if we were going to make this home, that we wanted to build something that we were, you know, really proud of. And that's something we could raise our children um, in with great memories and personalize it so that it could be a place that we felt, you know, we struggled a little bit with the cold weather, but just a place that we felt excited to come home to. Single story, bedrooms, everything was so easy to personalize. Um, and really it was just the piece of the communication and being able to work with, you know, all those that we worked with initially, it was just a really smooth process. Um, and also just word of mouth in this area, we got a lot of, a lot of good feedback from others who'd used Schumacher in the past and, um, you know, had really great things to say. So um, we relied a lot on others' um, points of view as well. I also remember uh, that they had the, the starting price or the base price for the model also came with upgrades. Well, they weren't the, the base model with the price that we started at included things that were you know typically upgrades with other builders or you know so it was is a that was a selling point as well to know that you're already starting off with with the price with a, with a good solid uh, product Hillcrest. yeah we went with a uh, we went with a modern farmhouse just suits our environment really well we wanted to have a lot of windows um, and this floor plan allowed us to have, you know, the, the wall of windows on the back side. Um, and we also started a little bit smaller, uh, but also realized soon that this was going to be our forever home and the field crest had ample space for us to be able to grow our family and have enough space for people to visit and stay. So um, from a square footage perspective, it was perfect for us in terms of us being here in 20 years from now. And we have a young one and the loft upstairs is perfect for his little play area and we have the master suite on the first floor with the big open concept with the living room and the kitchen. So it just, it really, we went through a lot of models and it really just fell right in, in the place. It fit perfect. First and foremost was a big open plan kitchen. The, 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 for the master uh, suite on the first floor was for me. Uh, especially with the bathroom and, and the walk-in closet. And uh, one of my favorite rooms in the house is the sunroom that just comes off of the walk-in closet. We actually customized that room a little bit with the arch, with an archway and no door. So you go from the bedroom to the bathroom to the walk-in closet straight into the sunroom, which is basically, you know, it's like a little retreat for, for the adults, for Meg and I to just have that whole side of the house. And uh, we turned it into like a little gym and, you know, we have some workout stuff in there. So it's, it's that's, that's one thing that was, you know, must have for me to be, you know, in the middle of it all. So. Left everything as it was. We added windows wherever we could, um, but the main footprint stayed as it, as it was. I would say the big thing, as Meg already mentioned, was the windows. We, we, we did add quite a few windows uh, on all, in all the bedrooms upstairs and, the, 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 we put a master door, I'm sorry, we put an exterior door in the master bedroom. So straight from the bedroom, you can walk outside, which will all connect to the back patio eventually. And, uh, you know, a lot of the customization that we did above beyond the floor plan was really electrical. Uh, you know, we put some speakers in the ceilings and we, we added quite a few, uh, smart switches and things like that. But Overall, yeah, it was, it was, it, it, the floor plan stayed the same and a lot of customization tweaks here and there. It was a great experience. So, you know, you, you want to go in with a little bit of the knowledge beforehand. You want to make sure that, you know, uh, that everything is what you want and, and you have it all you know, I, I don't think you can over prepare because there's there's going to be things along the way that questions come up that, that you never even thought of. And like I said, we've planned for five years. So, you know, it's just like yeah, any other journey in life. You just want to over prepare, make sure that you have all your bases covered and, and make sure that, you know, you know what you want and kind of stick to it because the design, the final product at the end, you know, you, you get what you put into it and, and you want to make sure that you know, you reap those rewards. 
I also think um, it's so hard in the interim when you are going through that phase of, you know, plywall and all those pieces, you know, the, the intricate parts of the build, it always seems so stressful. Um, and looking back now, you know, mid build, we would have been, you know, to the point where like, this is never going to happen. It's stressful. But now looking back, we would do it a million times over. It's just to reiterate the fact that it is going to turn out to be exactly what you hoped it to be. And it comes with a little stress, but not, um, you know, as Rob said, not without reward in the end. And that stress for us in particular was the idea that we came up every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. So that was one advantage we had of building on the land is because we also lived on the land as it was being built. So we got to see every step of the way, which I understand a lot of people won't have that luxury. But for us, when we say the, the stress, it was, it was also super rewarding to, you know, when I, I can still picture the day when, they brought the uh, the pump truck for the for the foundation in, and then when we're sitting in the house, we're walking through the house with just the studded walls up, and then drywall, and every step of the way we got to see it. So it was quite amazing to see the whole thing along the way, and, and super rewarding. Yeah, it was like that first group of excavated dirt, and it made me almost want to tear up. You know, it's like that is just so rewarding. Yeah, looking back to all of it. Yeah, mine too were definitely the first scoop from the excavator. And then, you know, we were getting toward Christmas. We didn't know if we'd be in, in time to spend Christmas as a family here. And I remember one night just coming up to check in and everything, and I saw them cleaning it. The lights were on, and it was almost just feeling like this is actually happening. You know, it almost took my breath away. It was those two moments for me that were just... That wow. is that is a big moment too, when you yeah. finally see the lights on. Like, that, it becomes very real when you see the lights on. Like, <laughs> this is happening. We're, we're moving in. <laughs> The first step is the hardest. Um, we went down so many paths and it's just, you know, coming to a place in your heart and in your mind where you can say, we're going to do this and we're going to face all the challenges that come thereafter. But for us, I think just taking that first step of commitment um, was our most challenging, but it is, as we mentioned, worth every, you know, once, once you have in your heart and your mind what you want and how you want to do it, just take that step because you're working with a great team with Schumacher. They're going to, you know, guide you and lead you throughout the process. Um, and certainly now that we sit in our beautiful home, it was the best decision we ever made. Yeah, I, I agree. And, uh, Jeff Price, our, our contract, our general contractor, he, he was phenomenal throughout the whole process. And we knew we, we, you know, obviously we worked with him so often and we built a good relationship, a strong relationship with him. And, and, uh, he, he, he was always easing the pain, like in, in terms of like, don't worry, it'll be fixed. We'll get to it. And it was just along the way. So. We always knew we were in good hands working with Jeff and, and we would highly recommend Schumacher Homes going further uh, for, for the whole entire build from the, everything within the house walls they took care of and, and they did an immaculate job.